Hi guys, welcome to Karen Creates. I'm Karen and today we are creating these lovely lampshades. Um, you can use obviously whatever material you'd prefer. Um, I've chosen this really lovely material. I'm going for a white theme where these lampshades are going or these lamps are going. Um, so yeah, I've got this kind of woodland um, design on top as well, which I really love. So keep watching if you want to learn how to make a lovely lampshade. So there are a number of things that you're going to need. Um, I've actually got a lampshade kit, um, which I'll link below where I actually bought this from. Um, it's got everything you need in here. So it comes in this box. I've got the 20 centimetre diameter and 18 centimetres high. It comes with the PVC backing. It comes with a little tool that you'll need later on. Um, some sticky tape that you'll need and the main part really is these two metal parts which are going to be um, the frame really for your lampshade. So get everything out of you. It also comes with these handy instructions. Okay first thing we'll need to do, also you'll need some fabric. I've already cut this one roughly to size um, it's to match the other one, it's got this lovely woodland theme, particularly liking the mushrooms. So yeah, um, and also you will need a lamp base. This one came from Home Base in the UK um, and it was quite cheap, I think it was £7 or something. Um, like I said before, I'm going for this white thing so I really wanted a white wooden base, that was quite simple. Okay, so like I said before, um, if you've got some scraps of fabric lying around or you've particularly purchased a, um, some fabric that you want to use for creating a lampshade, you need to make sure that it fits with the PVC um, that they supply you with. So I've already pre-cut mine to roughly the right sort of shape so it's a lot easier to work with. Um, I found previously that this is very bendy so I'll give you a few tips as we go along with how to keep this straight as we're working with the fabric. So, the next thing you need to do is um, make sure that you are securing your PVC um, in the correct place or the place that you really want it to be. So I'm going to have a look. I really want those mushrooms to be in the middle. And then I've also got a little woodpecker to this side. So I want to make sure I've got everything in the right place. Um, another little tip is on your PVC um, backing it's got a, a small edge so you want to make sure that what you're framing is within that edge as well okay so I think I'm probably going to start from about there okay what you need to also do is you need to really be working on a bigger table I've only got this table so that's what I'm using today to show you guys how I made this but you've got a larger table I'd use it just don't really want fabric hanging off the end like I have okay so it says that we need to peel back about 10 centimeters of this PVC backing roughly I'm just guessing about 10 centimeters and then You want to smooth that fabric, the PVC, onto the fabric. It's really, really sticky, so you want to make sure once you peel back that backing, that nothing else is getting stuck to the fabric. Okay. Then I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to start. It doesn't really matter which way you do this. I'm just doing it this way. Pulling back. The backing of the PVC which has already got the glue on the back. Keep pulling and you want to make sure that there's no air bubbles per se. So you want to smooth it out. It will start curling up as long as you're concentrating on the part that you're working on, 
then you should be fine. I can kind of see the design through this PVC because it's white. Um, obviously you're, you need to put your fabric face down as we're going onto the back of the fabric of this PVC. I should have said that at the beginning. There we go. So now the PVC is stuck to the back of my lovely fabric. And what I'm going to do now is cut. Um, it says to use a sharp knife, the Stanley knife or whatever, in the instructions, but I used scissors last time and that was fine for me. So I'm got, going to use a pair of fabric scissors and I'm going to cut all the way around the edge, getting as close to the edge as I can, but not cutting the PVC. So here we go. Okay, so when you're done, you should have something that looks a bit like this. And this is what you will see pretty much on the lampshade. Okay, the next step is to fold back along the lines of uh, the crease. So there's two creases, one at the top and one at the bottom. So you need to fold along those until it cracks off. And then when it does, you need to peel the PVC off. Okay, so I'm going to do that to the other side and then I'll come back to you. Okay, so I've peeled those off and you've got two fabric edges which will get rolled over to leave that nice roll top finish. Okay, so then what you're going to do is have a look at the side that you'll actually see, so the outside part of your fabric, and have a look which side you think should be overlapped. Okay, because these will end up being overlapped and you'll have a neat edge and then um, it'll look really nice and tidy. What I need to do is use the tape provided and stick that along that edge right up to the side and push down firmly. This tape is like a sticky back tape but um, the paper that you roll off isn't actually paper, it's plastic so it's really useful, it's really easy to use. I'm only taping on the actual PVC so I'm not going all the way up to the fabric. So now what we need to do is we need to tape around the edge of these frames. That's going to be the main frame, main support for the lampshade. Um, it suggests that you do this one first because it can lay like that and not touch the table or any surface so it won't get stuck to it. So I'm going to do this one first and I'm placing the tape all around the edge first to get it stuck on. What we're going to do now is wrap that tape all the way around the edge of your frame. So as much as possible it will get stuck down. It will start to peel off but the actual sticky tape will be hopefully stuck down. Side and do the other frame. Okay so this is the tricky part. We've got to get the frame which is um, sticky and not very stable onto this PVC back fabric. I'm using a pair of scissors to help me with this because as I said before the fabric's rolling up um, and I need to be quite straight at this point so I can see what I'm doing. So I'm first going to take the back of this um, tape off. So, so I'm going to take this one and I'm just going to place it down, it doesn't matter where, um, exactly on the length of the fabric, but it does matter where. You need to get it as close to the PVC as possible, but it's still got to be on the fabric, so that's the tricky part. Okay, so I'm going to have 
this like this. And my fabric has a design on it which does have to be the right way up. So you need to be really accurate if yours is the same with which way is up. Otherwise you could have an upside down squirrel or a mushroom or whatever. Okay, so once it's kind of started, you can carefully roll these together. Now, you want to, like I said, keep them the same distance apart. You want to be as close as you can be to the PVC. Okay, I'm just going to turn this around so I can see it to finish off the last little part. At this point, you can peel the backing for the bit of tape that you put along one edge um, and then seal over that edge. There we go, we're almost there. Okay, so we've got the base, you can kind of see what this lampshade's going to look like. But at the moment we've got this fabric which is all around the top and the bottom of the shade. So keep it on its side and using this tool we're going to push the fabric around the rings, the frame um, that we've got of the shade as much as you can. Let's see if I can turn it around so you can see. So we're just going to push these all the way around and then in a moment we're going to use the tool that it comes with to tuck this underneath the actual frame. I'll show you that in a moment. I've tucked this round, it looks pretty neat as it is, but we're going to make it even neater just to make it look really professional. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn it on its side again and use this tool to push the loose fabric um, underneath, the, underneath the frame of the lampshade using this uh, jagged edge first. I'm going to do this a side at a time, so at the moment I'm working on the top. It's looking pretty good, but it's still not tucked all the way in, and this is where we use the smooth side, and we're going to use that to push all the way in. Kind of feels like it's gonna come through the other side, but it's not. Um, push that right in and run it all the way around just so it looks really professional um, and really well edged. Okay, so this is the finished product. Uh, I've attached it to the lamp base now, so it's ready to go. Um, yeah, so I hope you like this video. Um, I've got loads of this fabric left over, so I'm thinking I might do a how to make your own cushion cover next. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you again soon. Bye!